And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to design a button. Let's start with a rectangle, just drag it, freeform, make sure the rectangle tool is selective and you can drag this circle downwards to create the curve. So it's the RY value up here. I go to the maximum so the value doesn't really matter. Just drag it as far as you can. Now we want to add a gradient, click on the gradient tool, I hold control and I drag that downwards to have a straight line. Now I go to object fill and stroke. This endpoint of the gradient is selected and it has an opacity of zero. I'll put that to 100. And now I drag the circle inside of the triangle here in the color wheel to the color side. Let me switch to the other side of the gradient. I press Ctrl D to copy it. And now I give them one a flat color. I want to have it set to red color. I drag it on top of the gradient one, then I put it to the bottom. I deselect it, then I select the gradient button and I play around with the opacity. I think that method is great to adjust it and create a nicer blend between the two colors. You don't have to use a gradient that goes vertically, so from top to bottom. You can also add an angle to it. Let me show you this as well. Uh, let me adjust it further. Just reselect the gradient tool right here and you can drag these endpoints for the two colors to set the angle. Once again, I select it and I press Ctrl D. I drag the copy downwards. Let me set the opacity to 100 again and I give it a flat color. I'll make that black. Now I drag it on top of the other two and I put it to the bottom. Now I increase the blur. So this is going to be my shadow and now I just transform it so I don't hold any keys and drag it downwards and then I hold the shift key and drag it from right to left. And I play a little bit around with the blur and the opacity to adjust this shadow. Last step is to add a text. Use the type tool, type in something, I use sign up. When you resize it, hold control. I give it a white fill. If you want to adjust the font, just make sure you've got the type tool selected and you can use a different font, for example Cambria, and play around with the style. Select it all, control A, then object align and distribute. Align it in a vertical line, but when you align it horizontally, make sure that you deselect the shadow first. If you want to export it, don't forget the shadow, so it's best to just press Ctrl A and then press Ctrl G to have it all grouped. And now you can export it and the shadow will be part of the export. And this is how you can create such a button in Inkscape. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.